to my channel. I'm Lisa and this is Brunette Wig Place and I am so glad that you are here today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and then you'll get a notification every time I post a new video to my channel. So today I am doing the full review of the Kim wig that was sent to me by Uniwigs. This is a human hair wig and you may have seen on my channel a week or two ago I did a little let's both be surprised when we see me in a blonde wig <laughs> as I digress from my brun brunettes for just a second here. Um, and I thought that was kind of fun for us to be surprised together at what I look like in a blonde wig and how I feel first putting a blonde wig on. So now I've had some time to try her on and play around with her and stuff like that. So I wanted to go ahead and bring you all the full review. So. Kim by Uniwigs. I will do a spin so you can see her all the way around and then we will get into her specs and I will tell you what my opinions are of her. So, here is the front. Very pretty. Now this is still the style that she came out of the box with. This curl on this side has relaxed a little bit more. So this one still has the floopy. I don't know if you remember, she was pretty, pretty floopy when she first came out, but now she is, um, she's relaxing a little bit, you know, which, which is kind of nice. So, very pretty. Here's my right side. The back, back is very pretty. And it's, and it's starting to kind of flip. It was more curled under before and now it's starting to kind of flip, you know, a little bit and just really look a little more natural, you know, so not so styled. So here's the left side and then back to the front. Okay, so she is described, the color number on her is 615R and they describe it as a creamy blonde going into kind of a mousy, uh, they called it an ashy mouse color. That's what's on the, um, the website. So it just goes into a darker blonde, almost a medium brunette really, on that uh, rooting. And then of course that continues as you pull the hair back, you have that same color underneath. So definitely, definitely looks like, you know, a blonde with darker roots. Um, Natural, you know, like as the hair, the hair usually gets darker going towards the root or looks like it's, you know, been naturally highlighted to um, lighten, you know, a brunette. So, very pretty. I think it's a, it's interesting because I feel like it's pretty cool, but I did, I thought it looked exactly like a friend of mine's hair, so I held it up to her hair when she was over here the other night and it looked the creaminess in it came out compared to her blonde. So it was kind of interesting. So it definitely, I think creamy is a good description of it. So pretty, pretty blonde. So as far as her, um, the hair is very nice. The density on this one they have on the website as 140%. So she does have a lot of hair and it is a little bit thicker density, but not, you know, not anything unnatural. There's just lots and lots of hair. So you could do some really, really cute styles. And of course she can be curled with a curling iron. She's human hair. So you can treat her just like she was the hair growing out of your head, you know, curl her with your curling iron. Um, you can braid her. You can put her back. Uh, not sure about ponytail. I guess she does have enough for a ponytail. For a short pony, that's really kind of cute too. So, short pony. Um, as far as her measurement, she is 12 inches here in the front and then she goes back to 10 inches. So she's just a little bit inverted without being really drastically inverted. So just a little longer in the front, which I think is very complimentary, you know, having that longer hair towards the front. And then comfortable as you get, you know, it's a little bit shorter in the back, so it makes it, makes it very comfortable. Uh, what else do I need to cover about her? On the website, her cap is listed as a 21 inch petite, but this cap is big on me. So it could be that the rest of my measurements, I'm like 11 inches ear to ear, 13 inches uh, forehead back to nape. So it could be that my measurements, those other measurements are, you know, smaller on me, but um, I think she would easily fit an average cap size, no problem. And the cap itself is, is very stretchy. So the cap is a hair loss friendly cap. So it's very soft on the inside. Um, I'll pop, her off, pop it off in a minute and we can look at the inside and everything, but very soft on the inside. So let me show you the front here. One thing I wish this wig had is a lace front. 
I would just like to see a lace front on it. I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's not, it's not terrible, but I don't know. It, it kind of bugs me that it doesn't have a lace front. Just gonna be honest. And then it has a um, lace photo top here up on the top, so you have that appearance of scalp, you know, on your part. And of course, you can part it anywhere up there on that top, and you're gonna get that appearance. So very nice. So let me pop her off. We can look at the inside. So there's your, you know, mono top, and of course, no lace front. Now, some people don't like a lace front. Some people do. So it just depends on what your personal preference is. So um, there, there's little silicone um, tabs on the ear, on the ear tabs, and back here in the back at the nape, you know, where you could place some tape. Or they, on me, I just kind of find that those. After the wig has been on my head for a few minutes and you know my skin has kind of warmed it up, it kind of adheres there on me anyway. So, so there's that other uh, tab over there. There's a good sized piece of metal in the ear tab so the ear tabs stay flush against my head. There are no adjusters on the inside of the cap. So just something to note, no adjusters on the inside of the cap. But the inside of the cap is super, super soft. This, I can see why they call it a hair loss friendly, um, cap because it's very, very comfortable up against, it's extremely soft up against the scalp. So really, really nice. So, and there's that lace front and that lace part up close, or not lace front, excuse me, just the front. So, you know, it's not bad. It's, it is natural looking. So it just depends. If you are not a person who's a fan of a lace front, then this may be a great piece for you. So get her back on here. So let's take this creamy blonde outside and we will look at the shade outside in the natural light. Okay, so here we are outside with this creamy blonde color. You can see that darker root. I'm having like Gwen Stefani vibes or something in this. Okay, we'll bring her out in the bright sun here. Woo, very bright. Turn so I'm not quite so much in the sun. Beautiful blonde. If you like blonde hair, this is a gorgeous blonde. Very pretty. Turn towards, sorry, I probably made you dizzy there. Turn towards the sun. Probably looks pretty with the pool water in the background. Like Serpent USA. Very pretty, okay. So we're back inside with this creamy blonde Kim wig by Uniwigs. And uh, that color is very pretty out there in the sunshine. So I wanna show you, since I still have my sunglasses in my hand, I'll show you how she is with glasses. Glasses are super easy. Um, the hair's kind of thick to put her up on your head, but she, but it can be done. Yeah, see, it's kind of wanting to come out. She's, she's kind of, to me, she reminds me of if you have thick hair. That's what she reminds me of, but the hair's, pretty and light and airy. It's not the hair, it's just there's a lot of hair in the wig. So, um, but really cute, you know, put that, put the sunglasses up on your head and stuff. And as far as styling, I mean, you have length to do a lot of different things. I like her clipped back. Um, with her being the 12 inches in the front and then going back to the 10 inch, so basically, you know, the hair is cut in one length. Um, she does wanna go in my face all the time, and that's one thing that kind of bugs me about her. So, but you know, just clipping her back like that rectifies that. Um, you know, if I was, if I got her wet or curled her up or whatever, I would probably make sure that I curled, you know, curled that hair back so that I would be getting those curls going away from my face, and that would help that a lot too. So um, she'd be really, really pretty. I need to curl her and, post a picture of her on my Instagram after I curl her. So, um, but I, I like when I review them, I kind of like them to be as natural as they can be, you know, just so you can see what the wig looks like. When you're, when you pull it out of the box, you know how it's gonna be styled. And then, you know, with it being human hair, you can curl it, you can do whatever to it. So, um, but just really, really pretty. Of course, you know, headbands, clips, anything like that is gonna work great with her. So, um, she looks really cute. I think I missed some of the hair there. With a headband. Hold on. Gotta look in the mirror. Um, her ear tabs are good. Like I have good coverage, but they can be a little flimsy. So uh, don't be 
alarmed, you know, when you're putting her, getting her in a style like this, you may, you know, they may lift a little bit, but then once you push them back down, they're going to be fine. And if you wanted to, you could use that little spot where that silicone is. Those little patches are, are for you to place tape if you feel like you want to tape the wig down. So you could tape it down there and tape it in the back. But I honestly don't feel like I need to tape it down. Um, you know, they do just lift a little bit when you're playing around with it, but then they seem to go back down, you know, once I get them um, adjusted, you know, they seem to go back down and I have good coverage around my ears and, and everything. So, you know, you, you could easily pull her back and, um, you know, you can do all kinds of style with her because you have the length to do that with. So beautiful, beautiful hair. I want to thank Uniwigs for sending me this wig to review for y'all today. Um, thank, thank them for letting me go blonde for just a little bit here and experience a blonde like this. It's kind of fun. So anyway, um, there will be a link below if you would like to purchase this wig. And I just want to thank you so much for watching. And don't forget until next time, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.